All right, guys, welcome back to the channel where I do car stuff, wheelchair stuff, and music. For those of you that don't know, I'm a rapper. I would appreciate if you went and checked out my music. It's available on all platforms as well as here on YouTube. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because everywhere I go, any car event, whether it be, you know, the drag strip or just a car show, um, people just crowd around the car, especially when I pop the hood because the engine is... Uh, a relatively new design of the engine. It is called the Hot V engine design. Um, if you wanna look it up, you can look up all the details, but I'm gonna explain to you just a real quick 101 of it when I open my hood here. But uh, this is my second Audi. I had a 2018 Audi S4 Prestige, and this is the 2019 Audi RS5 Sportback. Both of these V6 engines have the turbos on top. Uh, there's the one from my S4 Prestige, and here's the one from the RS5. So they both had that heat shield bolted on right above the turbos, and then this set right on top of that. All right, and here's the engine. As I told you, the turbos are right here on top. The reason it is called a hot V is because it is a V6 engine, and the turbos are right on top and within the V, if you know what I mean. So the way I try to explain it to the traditional person that I meet out at uh, the racetrack or the car show, I would just explain them, you know, the traditional V8 would have a carburetor or intake manifold right on top within the V, and then there'll be headers on both sides of the engine. Well, this is a reverse flow. So the heads have the ports on the opposite side. They flow reverse. So there are plastic intake manifolds on the sides of the engine and then they come out the exhaust manifold ports on top, which are in the middle, and then the turbochargers are bolted on right immediately to those exhaust manifolds. There are two main benefits to this engine. Basically, it makes uh, a turbocharged engine smaller because there's less piping, which also increases the efficiency of the motor. And to further explain that, my previous Audi, the 2018 Audi S4 Prestige, was a three liter V6, with a single turbo on top. It was a twin scroll turbo and it had a front mount air to air intercooler. That one makes its peak torque at 1370 RPM, really low. So that's one of the advantages. You don't have nearly no lag and it makes that torque all the way up until 4500 RPM. Now this motor has twin turbos, but it's only a 2.9 liter. It has a side mount water to air intercooler. And this one makes its peak torque at about 1900 RPM all the way to about, I think 4700 RPM. So unlike the traditional, you know, ramping like a roller coaster of the torque, it literally starts at 19 and it goes straight up and it plateaus. You literally have a straight line of your peak torque for a long time. And that's, you know, one of the benefits is that they uh, reduce the lag, they increase efficiency, and they are a pretty relatively small, compact engine design for a turbocharged engine. Now, of course, this Audi is not the only car with a hot V design, and nor was it the first to come out with it. Um, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, Porsche, all have hot V designs. They are traditionally the V8, but as you can see, and from what I've explained, Audi has two V6 models of the Hot V. So hopefully this was an informative video to you guys. You know, give me a like, give me a subscribe. It really helps me out on the channel. And you know, if you have any questions or comments, talk to me in the comment section and I'll respond to you right away. All right, on to the next one, guys.